hello everyone so in this session i will be discussing about learning action protocol uh, extremely useful uh, if you're working in the field uh, you can use it for your uh, babies you know uh, you can uh, use a data card it's actually learning action uh, protocol that we have created at iit bombay uh, it will really help you to take action uh, while monitoring the baby so if your baby is not gaining weight uh, you will know exactly what to do uh, how to do uh, you know what to tell to show uh, where exactly the problem is uh, and it will give you focused uh, attention on that problem okay so let's uh, go ahead and understand what this data card is uh, this particular learning action protocol is uh, for a boy uh, and we have created this only uh, you know starting from uh, you know uh, pre pregnancy till 1 year of age okay uh, looking at uh, initial data that uh, we would like you to collect is uh, baby's data uh, name of the baby now if you are working in a, a private practice then you obviously don't need a uh, lot of this government uh, you know related data like who is a district health officer cho but if you are working um, or you are training uh, healthcare workers in government system you know we have created this in uh, hindi marathi gujarati so you can uh, work on that also uh, you know you can teach them uh, you know how to collect this data and learning action protocol so here initially you know name of the baby is important id number of the baby whatever may be the id number uh, many uh, you know many programs they write aadhar card uh, but it's all it all depends uh, date of birth uh, birth weight uh, birth weight should be in gram uh, birth length which is in centimeter uh, name of the village so uh, you know name of the town name of whatever so if you're working in urban area you can just write name of the uh, city uh, then taluka district uh, where the child comes from anganwadi number if baby is if, if baby belongs to anganwadi uh, name of primary health care center name of uh, sub center delivery point and district hospital rural hospital sub district hospital phc private home others so this all basically uh, wherever baby is delivered uh, others if baby is delivered in a private hospital uh, or over here you know we have given uh, that option also so you can write down so you know exactly where that baby is delivered okay uh, name of the designation of the person available during delivery or do, uh, doctor at the time of delivery so uh, you can write down uh, say if there is a private doctor which is available during the delivery you can just write down over your name of the doctor so that you you know uh, who delivered this baby and if baby belongs to public health you can just write down um, all the line listing uh, members you know who would be taking care of the baby okay uh, mother's data uh, uh, of course mother's name uh, you will also have uh, you know a cast st sc obc general uh, education of the mother is important uh, age of the mother is also important so here we can just write down uh, age of the mother also or uh, here we have the option age of the mother height of the mother is very important because many times what happens that uh, mothers are short you know so we want to see whether those baby they uh, do better or not uh, education of the mother illiterate primary secondary graduate last menstrual period uh, and your date of registration uh, date of second ANC uh, date of third ANC so we have all the ANC listed you want to just write the date uh, you also want to write the weight uh, to understand whether there is any good weight gain or not in this babies okay uh, weight of the mother at the time of delivery uh, this will tell us how much uh, what is the weight difference between her first registration to uh, to the time of delivery uh, type of delivery it could be normal vacuum cesarean section uh, gestational age of the baby in weeks and is it a full term delivery yes or no okay so this is what uh, uh, you want to uh, take uh, for mother's data uh, baby's feeding data so again we want to have some understanding of uh, at the time of 
uh, delivery or just uh, before delivering during last trimester, whether mother was taught uh, proper techniques or not. So here we have written down was a mother taught cross cradle hold. Of course, it's our favorite, so we have put that hold. Uh, if if there if mother was taught some something else, please go ahead and write down over here which hold mother was taught. Uh, whether mother was taught latching using health spoken tutorial during her pregnancy, yes or no. Okay. Now place where mother was taught cross cradle hold and latching. Whether mother was taught in hospital, whether it was taught at home, PHC, you can just circle them. Okay. Uh, was breast milk, uh, breast milk given within one hour of birth or not? Okay. So this is um, this is crucial because this is WHO recommendation of giving uh, breast milk within an hour. Okay. Was breast crawl performed at the time of delivery? So uh, this is also another one which is very important. Uh, was the baby exclusively breastfed in hospital? Yes or no? Uh, again, you know, many mothers, uh, they, uh, you know, they are advised to give formula or top feeds or, you know, any other, uh, other prelactal feeds. So you want to just find out whether baby was given any, uh, you know, prelactal feeds. Uh, was a mother taught uh, manual expression of breast milk? Yes or not? Okay, this is also very crucial because uh, many times, you know, uh, babies do have some latching problems. So if mothers know how to express a milk, you know, she can express so that uh, she's not coaxed into getting formulas from outside. Mothers need to know how to express her own milk and not just kind of rely on, uh, you know, top feeds or cow's milk. Okay, uh, now these are the few visits that uh, we recommend uh, and these are the visits for under six months baby. Okay, now first three visits are basically in the hospital itself. So staff nurse who is taking care of the baby will have to fill out this data, not much data as yes, you can see it's just few few data point. But after that, after day three, your home, uh, after day two, your home visit starts. So our home visits are basically uh, three, day three, day five, day seven, day 10, day 12, day 14, then basically every weekly, then it becomes more, uh, you know, uh, every six we uh, every uh, six weeks, okay, and then every one month, okay. But as you can see, in first 14 days, there are intensive visits. And this is because, as you know, that uh, latching is difficult. Uh, it takes time for mother, mothers to learn it. Uh, and it's important that we, we work on, uh, you know, uh, that growth monitoring. We want to make sure that baby is gaining weight, okay? Because if babies can gain weight in this first 14 days, uh, there will be an excellent results, okay? Now, day two visit here, so on day zero, it will be uh, on the birthday, okay? Uh, staff nurse will write down uh, what is the weight in grams at day of birth, what is the weight. Uh, weight gain, obviously, this will be empty. Weight of the baby is at what percentile range? Uh, this will also be empty. Uh, length in centimeter, so you want to write down birth weight and birth length also. Uh, is baby suffering from any illness? So if at birth, if baby had an illness, you can write down yes or no. If baby has lost weight or gained weight, obviously this will be on day zero, this will be empty also. Was anything else beside breast milk given? So were there any prelactal feeds given or not? So here you can write down yes or no. And were, uh, where, uh, were holes, uh, health spoken tutorial shown as per protocol? Okay, so here on day zero, we have recommended, which will come, protocol will come later, uh, that uh, you know they need to see cross cradle hole and latching. Okay, now similarly on day one, day two, uh, similar thing. Uh, I have also put it down in the protocol to, to exactly understand what to do uh, on those first couple of days when the baby is in the hospital. Okay. Uh, then again, you know, as per uh, like all these uh, visits, you know, uh, you'll have to fill out these forms. Okay. Now, length uh, length will not be in every visit. Uh, in protocol, I have mentioned on uh, what days that baby will have uh, length check. Okay. Now, data for six to twelve months of age. Uh, here again, uh, uh, you know, uh, this is the data collection for uh, six months and above. So this will be a complementary feeding data. Uh, some of the very important questions that we have asked about uh, food groups, about junk food, about uh, powder uh, recipes, you know, uh, how many times the uh, baby is given food, uh, consistency, uh, frequency, you know, how much. So all that is over here so that uh, we know uh, how much is the intake, okay. Uh, and here again, uh, first uh, two months we have given visits every two weeks. So six to six months, six and a half months, seven months, seven and a half month. And after that, uh, up to eight months, uh, basically it's, uh, there are visits every two weeks. After eight months, you have visits every one month. 
okay so this this is a very important 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so in from 6 to 12 uh, months will be nine visits and this is important because in india our uh, uh, you know complementary feeding rate is very very poor it's extremely poor okay uh, only 12 percent children are getting minimum molecular diet and that includes your uh, enough frequency and your dietary diversity okay so this this is important uh, i'm going to now uh, take you to page 2 So this is your uh, breastfeeding assessment chart that I have already shown to you. Uh, you know, so you have to uh, here. This is your mother's name, baby's name, date of birth, first assessment, baby's birth weight. So here you will write down uh, day zero, okay, or maybe day one, and then you can write down the date uh, over here. You can write down the day of life over here, and then uh, start examining. Uh, you know. Uh, breastfeeding if it's positive you will be ticking mark uh, you will be ticking your uh, mark over here uh, if if it's negative then you will be ticking mark over here okay so here for example mother's preparation mother knows early hunger cues mothers feed when the baby cries so if, if mother is waiting for baby to cry that means she doesn't know this point okay so that tick mark will come uh, in front of this negative you know, unfavorable behavior. Okay, so at the end of it, you'll be basically observing each and every point over here. These are all the points that you need to observe, you know, while you're uh, breastfeeding the baby. And uh, once that that is uh, over, you will know anything which is tick mark on the right side will give you, uh, uh, will give you point to discuss. Okay, and the most important uh, part uh, of this uh, breastfeeding assessment form is latching. So if you have a latching issue, uh, you know, uh, this babies can't go home because that means the baby is not getting any milk. Okay, and this baby is going home uh, hungry and baby will not put on weight. So these are some of the points that we have created for uh, attachment. Okay, uh, important counseling points also important. So uh, you want to ask few questions also, leading questions. If mother feeds 10 to 12 times in 24 hours, if not, then it, the tick mark will come over here so that you know that you have to, at the end of the breastfeeding assessment, you have to tick mark on that one. Okay, so that's what uh, this is breastfeeding form is about. Uh, then I'm going to talk about. Okay, so this are your uh, this are your growth charts. I have already uh, explained to you about uh, growth charts uh, in my last week session, uh, and you know, uh, as per protocol, you have to uh, fill out this uh, weight for age chart for each and every visit every visit any contact point with that baby you need to fill it out okay you can print out this whole uh, you know i'm going to load it up on a website uh, you can print out its a png form so you print out all the pages there are 10 pages uh, print out on a3 size because it is meant for a3 not a4 and then uh, also uh, do a color uh, coding uh, no need to laminate uh, but basically just make sure that uh, the, the printout, uh, the paper quality is good so it doesn't get torn. Okay, so that's what is important. Uh, here is your weight for age chart, uh, 0 to 3 months, 4 months, 5 months, 6 months and your second week, third week, four week, uh, fifth week, okay? So these are your weight for age uh, chart. Uh, here again, length for age. Uh, remember that this are weekly visit up to three months of age. And then you have four, five, six, this are monthly visit, okay? Because uh, as I showed you, uh, you know, uh, there are few visits which are weekly and even some of them are daily. So it'll be much easier to kind of figure out from weekly uh, charts, okay? Uh, Another one is that was your weight and length. That's a percentile growth chart. Uh, but for weight for length, we have created, uh, you know, uh, an, yeah, this one is mainly your uh, weight for age, uh, six months to two years of age. The one you saw previously was from zero to six months. These are from six months to two years of age, uh, length for age and weight for age. And you can see that, you know, um, children, they grow beautifully, you know, uh, six months to one year if they are given proper complementary food as we have advised. Uh, 
at every visit please reinforce i'm going to go in detail what to reinforce what to tell to show of course uh, when lap comes uh, but you know here i'm just kind of reiterate that you have learned already so far uh, just use it you know use that knowledge pass it on to the uh, to the mother and the family okay uh, lower one is your length for age again 6 months to 2 years of age uh, that's what we have uh that's your boys chart uh you know now here is your weight for length now weight for length is always in z score okay so this is your z score uh, mean minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 a mean plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 okay so here uh, you want to plot this uh, you know at every visit to see if baby uh, any time falls between minus 2 to minus 2 minus 3 or below minus 3 because those babies are now getting into acute malnutrition okay so that you want to make sure and here we have shown just one picture of uh, breastfeeding uh, so that mothers know how to you know what what is cross cradle hold and here you know it, it's it's beautifully kind of uh, animated you know just to show mother how how the baby should be held okay during a uh, cross cradle hold now this particular chart that we have created uh, this is again uh, this particular chart that we have created uh, here what we have done we have divided all the tutorials uh, into phase wise manner so in like phase wise how you want to uh, uh, give this charts okay so for example uh, for adolescent girls uh, pregnant mothers first trimester second trimester uh, what charts that what uh, tutorials that you want to show and uh, here you will also have a third trimester mother because you also want to show them uh, you know uh, this uh, uh, charts okay uh, charts and of course your uh, this all tutorials so you want to show this tutorials uh, to third trimester mother also okay uh, here the pro a problem they can possibly face in the uh, uh, meantime in, in during this time is you know they are they are iron deficient they are b12 deficient they are folate deficient you know they have a lot of this deficiency you know so uh, in the lieu of that you know we have basically kind of listed all the tutorials that can be shown to mother and the family so that she can come out of this deficiency okay so here again all the tutorials that you have seen so far on nutrition you know protein folate calcium b12 choline uh, c iron magnesium vitamin d all that okay uh, another one which uh, we have is junk food we have also shown uh, pregnant mothers that type 1 type 2 nutrient also for uh, adolescent uh, girls and pre pregnant mothers okay and then we have listed all these veg and non veg recipes of all this uh you know uh, nutrient okay so if mother is vegetarian show her vegetarian recipes if she is non veg show her both veg and non veg recipes okay that's important uh again then we have uh, talked about pre pregnancy nutrition there is a as you have seen this pre pregnancy nutrition is really good i really like that tutorial uh and then also essential nutrition action so essential nutrition action for pregnant mothers and importance of first 1000 days so if you can show this tutorials uh, during uh, you know those crucial uh, uh, years of adolescent or pre pregnancy period and you know your pregnancy period then at least she will know uh, all about uh, all the tutorials okay now third trimester uh, is your uh, in third trimester mother will be watching all these tutorials which are given in your uh, you know during earlier period uh, but besides that i also recommend that this mothers they watch uh, uh, you know uh, not only third trimester mothers but mothers who have delivered or uh, mothers with babies under 10 days if you have not seen this mother that any time uh, this this are the tutorials that i recommend importance of uh, breastfeeding complications of formulas uh, cross cradle hold and breastfeeding latching importance of first 1000 days so all this kangaroo mother care storage of express breast milk you know how to express breast milk is very important to show her because if she goes to private hospital believe me they're going to get formulas okay but if she knows already how to express milk how to give that uh, milk uh, with uh, you know that cup she will uh, she'll know exactly what to do uh, you know she will not listen to doctors and provide all these formulas and caramel rubbish uh, anyway so uh, here i have also added 
uh, you know, some of the uh, tutorials on newborn care. Uh, important for her to know uh, before she goes home. Uh, I've also shown WHO growth chart. It's important to show her how her baby should grow as per WHO standard uh, because that will really improve uh, her, uh, you know, her understanding of how baby should grow, okay? Uh, five to six months of age babies, uh, six to seven months of age babies, and uh, nine to eleven months of age. Uh, so these are the these are the tutorials to be shown for mothers starting from five months of age. Okay, uh, because we want to sensitize as mothers on uh, complementary foods. Okay, so uh, again, as per LAP protocol, you can start showing these tutorials. Again, these are all on uh, type one, type two nutrient. Uh, you know, a complementary feeding guideline, complementary foods, protein powders, uh, nutritious powders, recipes, uh, veg and non-veg recipes, okay. And these are a nine concept, core concept of health spoken tutorial. Uh, you want to make sure that, you know, uh, every family member, uh, yours or your, uh, you know, your beneficiaries should have understanding of this nine core concept. So if you can understand this nine core concept, uh, this is prepared by Dr. Devaji Patil, a, a dear friend of mine and a colleague. Uh, and, uh, you know, just it, it has, basically it, it is the crux of our health spoken tutorial. Okay. Uh, so this was the, uh, you know, your uh, tutorials that we would like to show uh, to pregnant mothers and lactating mothers. Now here the LAP protocol starts. So let's start with the you know first LAP protocol. Now this is basically uh, protocol starting from uh, pregnancy till 14 weeks of age. Okay. Now uh, I would say even adolescent and pre-pregnant mothers should be included, okay? And what are the contact points that you can show this uh, tutorial? Uh, is basically either during home visits or when mothers uh, have meetings, uh, Anganwadi visits, weekly visit, monthly visit during ANC, village health sanitation or nutrition day monthly visits they have, Pradhan Mantri Suraksh, uh, Surakshit Man, uh, uh, Matriva Abhyan, okay, and uh, you can show it at pri uh, primary health care center once a month, you know, uh, uh, or health, health and wellness center, community based event twice a month, okay. Adolescent married couples planning, uh, married couple planning pregnancy, first trimester, second trimester, and lactating mothers, and even third trimester. So you want to show this tutorials to all of them, uh, you know, uh, this all again, I've already mentioned what to tutorials to be shown. Uh, any of these contact visits, this tutorials can be shown. Uh, third trimester, besides showing this uh, nutrition related tutorials, you want to show uh, cross cradle hold, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, of course, your latching. Uh, you also want to show them sideline hold and football hold because that will really help them to understand. Uh, also, uh, you know, you want to show them uh, why babies don't get uh, gain weight. Okay, so there are uh, mainly two factors, breastfeeding factors and other factors. Uh, it could be maternal factor, it could be maternal physical factor, psychological factor, you know, all that. Okay, and then, uh, so these are some of the tutorials that you want to show to third trimester and post-delivery mothers. Okay. Uh, at the time of delivery, you want to uh, make sure that uh, mothers know about breast crawl and early initiation of breastfeeding and skin to skin contact uh, uh, cesarean. So if there is cesarean, uh, it's important to show this couple of tutorials to mothers so that you understand that what will be done uh, during cesarean or after cesarean. Okay, but uh, again, I would recommend if you can show her in during third trimester, then she's prepared for it. Uh, Postnatal care ward. Uh, so now baby is already delivered. Now baby is going to be in the hospital or PHC or wherever she is delivered for at least two days, first 48 hours. So if you can basically, these are the uh, uh, you know things that you want to do it. Uh, you know, show it to mother. Again, show cross cradle hold uh, and sideline hold, latching tutorials. Uh, you also need to guide mother. So support for mothers is very, very important, okay? Um, there is either an IC card, so you show those IC cards also. There are stun punch chart, you know, there are nutrition charts, uh, not necessarily in first two days nutrition chart so much, uh, but, uh, you know, uh, specifically your stun punch chart and 45 points uh, that I've already kind of shown. Uh, show and demonstrate uh, hand expression. So again, you want to demonstrate how to hand express breast milk, okay, and how to feed the baby. Uh, also show her KMC, 
check uh, birth weight and length, check uh, daily weight. Okay, fill breastfeeding assessment form on day one and two normal delivery. Uh, so as I told you that you know that initially we had shown this breastfeeding assessment form, you do fill out. Okay, on day zero you just uh, make her learn. From day one you start uh, filling out those forms so that you know that where mother is lacking. Okay, uh, and you have. Uh, uh, if the baby is born by C-section, then they will be you will be doing a breastfeeding assessment form or filling out those breastfeeding assessment form on day three and day five. So those are very very important. Uh, fill initial uh, learning action protocol form and plot WHO growth chart. Okay, if it is a high risk baby or a low birth weight baby at the time of discharge please inform concerned uh, person okay uh, discharge only if uh, uh, latching points are correct the latching points are in the breastfeeding assessment form so you want to make sure that before baby goes home that you want to you know fill out those forms okay postnatal day 3 uh, to four, uh, 14 weeks uh, here now uh, you know uh, your results will start home results will start so I will uh, talk about that uh, in my next uh, part uh, because it will become too lengthy otherwise but uh, remember that each child should have a separate learning action protocol so if it's a boy child a child will have a boy uh, learning action protocol if it's a girl child but each child should ha carry that protocol uh, or data card in you know and that mother should have it okay uh, and uh, every visit will require a weight uh, weighing scale preferably digital weighing scale or at least a calibrated salter weighing scale filling of learning action protocol uh, ic charts filling of plotting of growth charts uh, and health spoken tutorials you'll need them okay encourage the mother to bring lap card during every visit at the point of contact okay so this i'm going to end over here and i'll come back uh, with uh, you know uh, home visits what are the protocols to be followed and what is to be done okay thank you